have ever been part of a band rehearsal or even just watched videos of rehearsals, you may have noticed that there are a variety of ways to run a rehearsal. Throughout my own career as a vocalist, I've been part of rehearsals that were fast-paced, high-energy, work-driven sessions, and I've also taken part in rehearsals that were more lax, where the musicians just spent time jamming together. There are many reasons why you rehearse, many ways to organize your time, and a variety of strategies people use to create a vibe that promotes productivity. The exciting part is that you get to set the tone for your own rehearsals. There are really no rules for a timeline you have to follow. But if people are giving up their time to make music as working professionals, there should at least be a goal that you and your group are trying to achieve. To ensure that your rehearsals have purpose, first identify an appropriate goal for your rehearsal. For example, your goal might be to freely create so that you and your band can write some new music. Or maybe the goal is to rehearse a full set of music for an upcoming show. If you are leading the band, you can set the tone by communicating expectations and goals prior to each rehearsal. By doing this, the participants are more likely to show up prepared. Also, the communication of clear objectives lets your band know that you've spent time planning and preparing and that you expect preparedness from them. This also ensures that you and your band are on the same page. Your band will feel more invested if you let them in on your vision and welcome their feedback. Some of the expectations you might communicate include arrival time, setup time, and start time. You might also indicate how to prepare for the rehearsal, letting your musicians know which sections to practice beforehand or whether the music should be completely memorized. Keep your tone positive and upbeat when communicating expectations and goals. You have the power to make even the most productive, fast-paced, goal-oriented rehearsals enjoyable for you and your musicians. Try to balance the intensity level of your rehearsal with mental breaks, which may include standing up and stretching, moving around, quick chats, or even a bit of time for fun. You might also consider positive musical ways to begin and end your rehearsals, like starting with a song to just jam on or ending with the most fun or upbeat song in your set. When a band enjoys playing together, they usually sound tighter. Playing for fun can develop some camaraderie between members or just place the focus on making music, which can help your band lock in better with a groove or to just listen to each other more closely. You could plan highly structured and efficient rehearsals and also inspire a positive and productive mental state. Stay flexible and open to the collaboration and feedback from the musicians in the room. Your attitude and outlook will affect the rehearsal environment, so consider this in your own mental preparation as well. You will find that your musicians will match the energy and enthusiasm that you bring to the rehearsal. So if you show up excited to make music, your participants are more likely to be excited too. Try to avoid derogatory language and belittling comments, and try to speak to your musicians in a way that's motivating, that enables growth and helps your group achieve the goals that you've set. Finally, be creative with your rehearsal space and plan ahead. Your room setup will depend on the purpose of your rehearsal. Some rehearsals might require a more relaxed atmosphere or vibe to ensure that every musician feels free to create or experiment. Other rehearsals might require quick and efficient use of time to rehearse large amounts of music. Try creating an environment that aligns with the goal of the rehearsal. For example, if your goal is to write new music and you wanna create a vibe that invites relaxation and freedom, you might transform the room by adding light, images, or videos that inspire creativity. If you have a rehearsal where your band is testing out new music, make sure you provide a well-lit space for reading charts. If you're rehearsing for a show, you might set the room up in a similar way to your stage setup so you can practice for your performance. What's more important than the room setup is the atmosphere that you create with the way that you present yourself and the way that you speak to your band members. Take time to evaluate the effectiveness of your leadership and organization and assess the productivity of your rehearsals. You might even consider recording your rehearsals and watching them back for objectivity. Then ask yourself if you and your band have met your goals. You set the standard for how you want your musicians to respond and interact. It might take some practice or even some trial and error, but if you are consistent in your practice and preparation, you will find effective ways to create productive rehearsal environments.